Hello. Hello, Mark. How is it going? Doing very good, thank you. Yourself? Not too bad. Um, so we're down here with you today, um, just outside Newton Pop, um, well, Newton Poppleford. Um, so you're out with um, Stuart Partners. You're using the Samson tanker today. I am. Yeah, and you've you've four tankers um, drawn here today. Yeah, yeah. There's um, four tankers. So there's two. Two slurry cats and two high specs. So there's one high spec that's ours, and the other one's at um, Creeley's, a neighbouring farm. And then, and then the, the two slurry cats, then they belong to Dave Shillam. Yeah, both of the slurry cats are Dave Shillam's, yes. So I suppose I came out here today to see the Samson tanker that you're running. You're saying that she's four and a half thousand gallon. She's got the 30 meter Volgasan drum bar on her. Um, tell me a little bit about her, because obviously you only really, Stuart's only bought her last year. Yes, yeah, they got a uh, last, I'm going to say between March and April last year. Yeah, because you, you were saying that you started with Stuart's back in June, July, so is this really, like, I know you were doing a little bit with her last year, but this is the first kind of proper few jobs that you've been doing with her. Yeah, this is. Last year we done a little bit of grass, just topping up grass after third or fourth cut. Um, yeah, we done some top dressing some wheat a couple of weeks ago, and now, yeah, we've got a fair bit down here to do, and then hopefully once we finish at Clinton, we'll be back top dressing wheat again. Yeah, because the tankers that are running to you today, they're kind of they're three and a half thousand gallon, and obviously the tanker being four and a half thousand gallon. That's kind of the reason that you went with. I know it's not that she's small, but that's the reason that you didn't go any bigger size-wise with the tanker. Yeah, I believe that's why they done it because it, there's no point in us having a bigger tanker in the field if the small if the road tankers aren't very big. So um, it works quite well, really. Yeah, because you wouldn't want anything bigger, really, unless you were running lorry store, like. No, no, definitely not. And then it's got to be a stupid size to be able to empty a lorry in one go. You've obviously you've got a couple of different fill points on the tanker as well, because at the moment you're filling off um, the front arm pump. You've got the side arm pump as well. But that was the whole reason that they, they went and bought the, um, the front arm pump was because of the jobs they knew that they were going to be doing with her. I think so. It's... When you're running down tram lines, you can have a tanker go down in front of you, and then there's um, there's no flattening of the crop. You haven't got to drive up and down the tram line several times. If you can just have a tanker in front of you, you can go down through and then load up when you're empty. Yeah, and yesterday we had a, a good day, good first day really, and managed to do 1,200 cube in a day. And it wasn't even a long day, 10, 11 hour day. The fact that you do so much work around the tram lines as well was, I, I suppose, a big contributing factor to the reason that you went with the, um, the 30 meter dribble bar. Yeah, because all of, all of Stuart's corn is all 30 meter tram lines, so it's just, it's handy. And the tram lines, we generally try and keep them in the same place every year. So. Mm -hmm. It's only compaction on one part of the field. Obviously, I caught you last year when you were cultivating with the um, six major Amazon. Yes. Um, with your old 936. Uh, we were just ripping up the maize stubble, so then we could um, go in with a direct drill and drill it all, put all the corn in. I mean, it's not that she was. It's not that she was struggling at all, but you could definitely hear her pulling it, like. Oh yeah, no, it was hard work pulling the cultivator, definitely. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you needed every um, every pony under the bonnet. That's for sure. Mind you, 
music that only landed this year. She's next demo, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. No, we had this one fresh in. I think we picked it up in February, and it's been parked yeah. in the shed until now. Um, yeah, he's only done a hundred hours. Yeah, I'm sure you're delighted to get a new lady anyway. Oh yeah, pleased to get back in the tractor and get out the workshop, definitely. Once you've kind of finished doing the tanking, what will the 936 be moving on to? Uh, well, the main jobs I do are the tanking, cultivation and the mowing, really. So as soon as um, as soon as we can, put the mowers back on and go and knock some grass down, hopefully. But that won't be for a few hopefully. months yet. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit, because actually one thing that you were explaining to me, because obviously it's not like going straight over my head, but I'm still obviously learning a good bit about Surrey. You were telling me about how you work the nitrates and how many you're putting out at the moment. Yeah, so this tanker, the reason we've got the Green Star bubble on the roof is because we've got an NIR sensor on the slurry tanker, so we can measure the goodness in the slurry. So then I'm applying this slurry at 70 kilos of nitrogen a hectare, which works out yeah. to be about 40 cube, but it also it it measures uh, potassium, the uh, phosphorus, the dry matter, everything in the slurry. It will measure. That's mad to me. So to learn of how much you can actually do within the, the systems themselves, like obviously all those screens that you've got on the cab there, you're able to measure the nitrates and the cubes and everything that you're putting out. That to me is just mind blowing. Oh, it's um, <laughs> it's fairly fancy. Yeah, very <laughs> fancy bit of kit. Well, that's brilliant, Mark. Uh, thanks for having me out today, and thanks for agreeing to the interview. I know you weren't too keen. Uh, no, that's fine, Olivia. It's been my pleasure. <laughs> brilliant. Thanks a million. Speak to you in a bit. Bye-bye.